It's JC from Motorcycle Superstore. This is the Icon variant helmet. I'm showing you the hard luck graphic way. It is one of the baddest, craziest looking helmets on the market because it's this adventure, dual sport kind of urban styling. Now, it's essentially a street bike helmet with the dirt bike style visor on it, but it does have some elongated features in the front. Uh, this is really a hybrid of dirt and street. Let's talk about how it's constructed. So the variant is made up of a pretty complex shell material. So it uses different, uh, different types of fibers, fiberglass, dyneema, and carbon fiber. Those are blended, layered together, and you get this very strong but light outer shell. Now it is manufactured in different sizes and something that's important about it is the vent systems. But because of this on the top, this, this visor, this really helps channel the air and it plays a role in how the air moves around the helm as well. All wind tunnel tested uh, in development systems so it does work pretty dang good. All right, so on the front you're going to see some, some vents here. The chin bar has two vents that are actually activated inside. There's a multi-position closure in there so you can actually tailor how much air is coming in. This is also adjustable as well. And then on top of the helmet, you have these huge brow vents. These are multi-position. And then up in here, in this visor, it uses these super vents. These are closed off as well, or can be, and you can really tailor how much air is coming in. So with the visor system, air moves over the helmet, across the back. This spoiler helps pull the air out the back of the helmet. Another thing to consider with this is it's great because as the sun starts to drop or whatever, you can really use this to your advantage. But at high speeds, these big cutouts that you see in here, that's going to allow the airflow to come through enough that it should not lift your head. You're not gonna get that wind sail effect as you're going down the road at high speeds. It's really been uh, tested a lot and this helmet's pretty dang cool. Now, on the inside, you have a very nice liner system. It's extremely comfortable. This is what they call their Hydra Dry. It's removable, it can be washed, which is great because if you're using this for mixed use, it might get dusty and dirty in there more than a pure street helmet would. So a great option for cleaning. It's also moisture wicking. It pulls the sweat off your face and gets it out through those vent channels. Underneath the liner system, you have the EPS. That's got vent channels cut into it as well, which allows the hot air to get from your head out through the EPS to the outer vents. The shield system with the hard luck helmet, it's gonna come with a dark smoke like this. Very, very cool. Um, it's easy to activate up and down. It uses a thumb tab on the left hand side. Also worth noting, this shell or this helmet is actually rated in what they call the all world standard. So in terms of what matters here in the States, DOT, it also has the upspec ECE 2205. That's a European standard, but it's extremely useful for motorcycle type helmets. You can find more information on the variant at MotorcycleSuperstore.com. Get a close up look at it. Uh, lots of photos there. This graphic package in particular is very cool. You can actually kind of see through it to the layers of fiber underneath that we talked about in the helmet. So it's very, very cool because you can kind of see the main construction of it. Check it out online, get a better feel for it. Also, the sizing options are there and the current price as well. So check them out. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube for more product videos.